Are you ready to go? Are you ready to go in the car? Because we're gonna go for like a two and a half hour car ride to... Are you excited? Are you excited? We told you guys that we would be back. For those of you that missed the live stream, we told those people that we would be back. Yeah. And we're back. After a long hiatus, I guess you could say. We were doing other work. Yeah. So other things that we needed to take care of have been taken care of. And we we're about to go get back out on the road. We we're going to go to a place that we told everybody in our live stream the other night. But for those of you that were not there, St. Augustine. We've been waiting to get there for a little while now. And we actually had the time to go ahead and do that now. So yeah. we're going to go spend the weekend up there. There's also an abandoned place. So we're going to get an explorer out of it while we're up there. We've been meaning to hit this place and just been kind of passing by it and driving around it and really not getting to check out the whole entire place. So if you guys missed us, we're back. We're hey. shooting videos. We're going out on the road. Yeah. We're doing stuff, taking Kona out and uh, she's ready to go. So yeah. we're going to go get in the car and go do some stuff. You ready? Gonna go for a ride? So the uh, gas prices here are on the rise since the last time we met. Last night I was informing everybody on the live stream as well. Just for everybody, you're gonna catch up with what we said on the live stream last night. So when we got down here in November, what was it, November 22nd? Uh, gas prices were like, what, 312, 315 in some places. They are now... What is it? 255. Is it 312? 255. Oh, it was, it was, it was 212 when we got down here. I'm thinking of New York prices. That was in the New York prices. It was 212 when we got down here. And now it's 255 right now. So in about three months, it's gone up pretty considerably. And I can only imagine how much it's going to go up within the next two years. Pretty crazy. But, you know, sometimes you have to pay a price for unity and empathy. So, yeah. We made a stop at Wawa. You saw us getting gas and we had to go inside to get our little goodies. My go-to is a mango smoothie. And these jalapeno cheese stuffed pretzels are so good. I was telling everybody on the live stream as well last night that there is Cinnabon coffee here. Which, if you guys heard about the holiday blend that I love so much, it is just as good, if not better. I've never done a side-by-side -side comparison. Hopefully, one day they'll put them side-by-side -side so yeah. I can do a side-by-side -side comparison for you guys. But, I thought they were going to get rid of the holiday blend and it was going to suck. But, they got rid of the holiday blend. They brought something that's, like I said, just as good. So, yeah. Awesome. <laughs> For those of you that tuned into the live stream, there was one person that mentioned this location and Rob has been talking about it and they just opened it up in St. Augustine. So because we're going to St. Augustine, I thought it would be fun to stop here, check it out. I've never been to one, so I don't know anything about it. Um, it seems like it's pretty popular because there's a lot of cars here. This is a big, uh, big location, but let's go inside and show you what we're talking about. I've only been to one of these in Texas. Infi took me there. These are pretty dope. Oh wow. Hey. This place is insane. <laughs> what the hell? They have literally everything. Okay, have a good day. Thank you, you too. So good. You can literally get anything that you want inside of this truck stop. It is the world's best truck stop in my opinion that or the the best truck stop that I've ever been to, but you can get all types of good food, all good candy, coffee, all that stuff. But I got to mask up because everybody around, no, actually not, not everybody, but I'll be masked up. 
It smells really good in here. Yeah, because they got those nuts over there. They got roasted nuts. Yeah, it smells and so good. I mean, good. they literally have everything here. Yeah. We will have to come back here and vlog one day when we have more time. Like a full-on vlog. But we got the dog in the car, so we yeah. got to hurry up right go. now. Look at that. Man. Yeah. Nuts to go. That's those peanuts. Yo, they got a whole bakery and everything. It looks like beach stuff. Yeah. Look. Yeah. For the front of the door, you know? We will definitely be showing you this just like a Wawa. I hope you guys can hear me because I'm wearing this mask right now, but we have Kona in the car, so we have to rush back to her. So we'll do a vlog here one time. Stuff too. Look at this for treats. I like that. Doggy bag clips. Cute. All right, Cute. All right yeah, yeah. I could stand here forever I'm just looking through stuff. Okay, so that was Bucky's. I'm just gonna reiterate what I just did inside of there because I had that mask on. I don't know if you guys could have heard us or whatnot, but that place is absolutely amazing. From the brief tour, I'm sure you could tell that that place is amazing. Infi took me there for the first time when I was in Texas, and it it's just a massive truck stop. There's yeah. like 50 pumps out here. You can always get gas. Look at the parking lot. The parking lot looks like there's some kind of event, like a baseball game or something yeah. going on here. Like people are just coming here for the attraction of it all. It's actually a really really cool truck stop like I said and we're going to stop here a lot more we'll do a more in-depth little vlog piece in one of our vlogs yeah, when like we go inside of there yeah something. we had the dog inside of the car and we just didn't want to get caught up in there too long and lose track of time so it's not that hot out here but it gets hot in the car yeah it will get hot in the her. car and we yeah. didn't want to leave her in here for too long so we just did a pit stop this just opened up so we had to stop by and we'll be in St. Augustine in a minute places coming what? come on go 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 come here go go you smell the doggies come on good girl good girl look look at this good girl good girl come on come on get in the bed uh. Good girl, what is that bed? Did they leave doggy beds for you? They're so, so this, hey, get over here. You're not running out. You're good, you're a good girl. Oh, what a good girl. So this place is very, it's the Southern Oaks Inn in St. Augustine. I found it on Bring, Bring Fido, the app Bring Fido, because I always look at dog friendly activities and events and hotels through there. Um, so this one seemed very pet friendly because they have like a little, like jungle gym kind of thing for her. There's a dog run. They have dog beds in the room, which I'm not like crazy about of her like staying on it, but I'm sure whatever. She probably won't. She probably won't. No, she'll stay in the bed with us like she usually does. And it's also like five minutes to downtown St. St. Augustine. So I figured this is a, a good little location for a night or two. Right, Wig? Come here. What's Daddy doing? I don't think she's really too familiar with dog parks like this. Oh, we haven't here. brought her to one. And she obviously had to take a shit. I think she did. Oh, Does. Right she's doing something over there. Hey. But this is why we got this room here. Is because it's a dog friendly hotel and they have a little bit of a park here. Only that little thing right there. And those two rings right there. What do you want to do? You want to play? Go play. Yeah. Yeah. 
<laughs> come on, this way, come here. Come here, come up here, come on. <laughs> Put your mask on my bag? Uh, no, I'll wear it on my arm just in case I gotta throw it on. Standing in front of the oldest wax museum in America. Pretty crazy, huh? This place is popping right now. Yeah, there's a lot of people down here. It took us almost forever to find parking. Everybody's just waiting in this parking lot over at the Ford over there. I don't know why, because there's public parking right down the block over here, but it made it super simple for us to be able to park, so I really don't care. We're gonna make our way over to the Ford right now and go around St. Augustine, let's check it. You should get one of these. Yeah. Cool. That is cool. It's not bad for $35. Oh, look at that one. Very cool. It's only a hundred bucks too. That's really nice. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at those. Yeah, those are Those are really cool. That's pretty, it's pretty cheap. I mean, like inexpensive cheap. It's pretty well done. Stuff. Yeah, we're gonna have to do that. Look at all that. It's cool. I always love these things. They're like made out of wood, but they they cut cuts in it. I'm so used to the snakes. Around. Yeah, these guys. They have them at Disney. What ride? Well, not a ride. It's, it's really a, it's an attraction. It's an Epcot. Yeah, it's an Epcot. It's an MGM. It's in Hollywood Studios. Yeah. Oh. Indiana Jones. Oh. Wiki, your first fort. Castillo de San Marcos. Marcos? Castillo de San Marcos. We love forts. We love pirate shit. It's really windy over here, so I do hope it's not bothering you, but we're gonna get some cool shots of this outside over here. Kona can't go inside. I don't really need to go inside this one. It's not really that spectacular. And uh, we're gonna just check out the outside of this. Go around over here in old St. Augustine, right? Yeah, That's what it's called. Those are the best part of any fort, any Spanish style fort. Love those. It reminds me of Puerto Rico. Yeah. I wish I was in Puerto Rico. I know. St. Augustine is dope, but Puerto Rico is really dope. Right? Yeah. Look at this. It's an old brick oven. Cool. Does it say what this was used for? No. Right here. Oh. Looks like a pizza oven. It's for cannonballs. Oh wow. It's awesome. Cannonballs Look at that. heated up to about 1500 degrees Fahrenheit as they rolled over the fire. It's cool. A soldier loaded the cannonballs into the furnace. Two soldiers carried red hot iron shot to nearby cannons. That's cool. Yeah. They used to shoot it hot. Uh, it's really this is cool. Where they baked things, I think. Pizza. They baked pizza in it. No, pizza wasn't in there. Kids are funny as pizza well. Pizza wasn't invented. <laughs> I know. So this is a pretty cool outside of the fort. It's yeah. Very small in comparison. I want to get on to, the water side. What was the other one? San Cristobal. Yeah. That's the one in Puerto Rico. Yeah. And then there's the other one. I forget what the other one is called. San but they're Cristobal. they're a lot bigger than this one. So I like those ones a lot better. Yeah. The outside one looks a lot cooler too. Yeah. Just yeah, like about the water. On it. What? Come here. Wait. Oh, over here. Yeah. See the water wig? It's a big field they have. 
Yeah. Well, usually they do have big fields around all the forts. Yeah. And you can see everybody coming up. It's very so cool. St. Augustine is the oldest city. Oldest continuously occupied city in, I think, the United States. Definitely Florida. But it I think is. it's also the United States. It is the United States. So there's tons of history here in this town. Uh, yeah. Hot one out here today. It's about like 80 degrees. 80 degrees, sunny. It's a nice day. You having fun, Wig? You having a good time, girl? Huh? You want some more? Want some more? <laughs> so where are so we're we? We're on St. George Street in downtown St. Augustine. Yeah? Is this yeah. a dog friendly bar? I see uh, the balls out no, there. The, the City Gate Distillery Spirits allows dogs inside, but she's like weird. But this is the old schoolhouse. Schoolhouse. In America? I believe so. This was dated September 21st, 1938. So this is the oldest wooden schoolhouse you can go in on the inside. You can yeah. go for a tour. The oldest wooden schoolhouse in the USA. Red healer oh. mixed, I think, mixed with beagle, maybe. Oh. We don't know for sure because we rescued her a couple years She's an Australian ago. shepherd. Yeah. The front of this store is awesome. Yeah, it's very retro. Yeah, it's really retro. It's okay, so. I like the tile. I like the glass block on there. It's really cool, right? Yeah. So we just did the walk through that cool little old alleyway that they have down there. That's a very cool little shopping area. Definitely, definitely a, a tourist attraction in a sense, but I'm yeah. sure that there's a lot of locals that go there as well. But very cool, cool restaurants. We saw a couple of places that we're going to go grab a drink at and grab something to eat at. So we're making our way around the block to this other section of stores over there. See what's up over there. Go grab something to eat. And it's funny because as much as it would seem that we really like attention, like we vlog and like we go out with a dog and stuff like that, we really don't like the attention. And Kona she gets, gets a all. lot of attention. <laughs> she really does get a lot of attention. Most people think she's a boy too. Yeah, but today we had a lot of people that were saying she's very pretty. Yeah. Oh. Motorcycle, motorcycle, oh no, motorcycle! Really cool looking college. It looks like the Tower of Terror. It really does. But every old building oh, in Florida looks like the Tower of Terror. Oh, those are cool. Look at that. Yeah, that's hey. cool. Look at that, Wig. Come here. Can't go that way. That's cool. Come on. That is really cool. They really embrace the pirate in this town. That's really cool. I've never seen anything like that before. Yeah, like look at it. Yeah. Look at that, that's awesome. Oh, look at the top. Yeah. Like the little dog houses at the top there. I'm not exactly sure of the history on Flagler College. If anybody knows that this was used for anything other than the college, it does look like something that would be like a hotel. I don't know, maybe something for the military that was down here, I'm not sure. But it's very, very cool. It's probably only been a college. I'm probably just a dumbass that never went to college, so. But she went to college, she should know. Well, I don't know about all colleges. Like, I have no idea what the history behind the school is. What's the name of this place? This is called the, the Florida, Florida Cracker, Cracker Cafe. Cafe. Ooh, and all sandwiches include homemade pasta salad and a choice of one of the following. Coleslaw fries, kettle chips, oranges, applesauce, or cheesy grits. I'm not a fan of grits. You hear Kona whining. What are you doing, Wade? So this is actually what is Florida, what is a Florida cracker? In the mid 1700s, pioneers came from other colonies to Florida while it was still an unsettled land handed off to the handed off to Great Britain by Spain. These people were woodsmen, cow herders and frontiersmen from Virginia and Maryland. They could live off the land by hunting and fishing. The term Florida cracker is believed to come from the sound that their whips made as they cracked them while riding horses to herd the cattle. 
Still others say it comes from the crackling sound of dried corn as it was the ground to make cornmeal, which was a staple of their diet. Florida crackers are the original cracker cowboys. The term still remains to differentiate the pride of Floridians who were born and raised here for generations as to those people who have come in from other states to live and as they are better known, the original Florida crackers. Many of them still live on farms in rural communities and are sprinkled throughout the peninsula's wetlands as well. Today, you may not be able to hear the cracking of rawhide whips or the stone grinding of the dried corn, but you can still taste famous recipes of yesteryear with our food prepared fresh daily here at the Florida Cracker Cafe. We're gonna get a lot of comments down there that that's not what the definition of that <laughs> cracker is. Well, yeah, but oh, here we go. Oh wow, Thank those you. are good. Yeah, those are cute. Yeah, they look Thanks good. a lot. Yeah. They also have a bakery here, so these are probably really good. Yeah, we're gonna test them out soon. But yeah, so he said the cor the crab cakes were like men's men. So um, I asked him what his favorite thing was, and his first thing he said was the fish sandwich. So I ended up going with the fish sandwich. So I'll give it a shot. I went with the chicken tenders. You really can't go wrong with that kind of stuff. So I'm a chicken tenders fan. So I'm very very easy. She hates it. I don't hate it. It's just like he eats like a 12. Cornbread with honey butter. See how this is. They got a bakery inside, so. It's pretty good. It's not better than box stuff. It doesn't have that like hit of honey that the other stuff had, but this has like a sweet aftertaste kind of, so it's really, it's different, but it's good. I like it. What are you doing, baby girl? She had a couple pieces of fish. You had some fish? And she loved you did? it. Right? Oh, I know. <laughs> what? She wants to get going. Wanna go? So the one thing the one thing about Kona is that like she'll walk for hours and hours and hours and not have a problem with it, but the moment we stop, she starts whining. It's like she wants to keep going, and I try to tell her. You know, sometimes we have to take breaks and we eat food. She gets a little pieces of food, maybe some french fries. I gave her a couple pieces of the fish, which she liked, but um, yeah, overall it was pretty, pretty good for the Florida Cracker Cafe. I don't know the name of the street now. I forget. It's one of those cool old streets. Yeah. Cobblestone. Yeah, I love brick, cobblestone brick. roads. Brick. Oh yeah, it's brick now. Old military hospital. Yeah. Look at this. All the conquistadors. I like this old building. Yeah. I like the wood shingles. I like that. I want a cool old pirate building. Yeah. This has it reminds me of like Wally. It does remind me of Puerto Rico. It definitely has like New Orleans like feel to it. Yeah. I think it's more like with the higher balconies and stuff like that. Yeah, the balconies are cool. And they're wood, not wrought iron. St. Augustine has a lot of old buildings and a lot of museums. Yeah. They definitely do have a lot of museums, but they're not like the touristy. They also have the touristy wax museums. They actually have the oldest wax museum down here. I think I might have mentioned that while we were passing by it. But anyhow, I see museums for literally everything here. Uh, Hos military hospital museum. Medieval torture museum. Yeah, a medieval torture museum. That I think that that's kind of more like a touristy thing. But yeah, I mean, thank you. I think that I, I think that there's just a lot of cool history behind here. I don't think I know that there's a lot of cool history behind here, but these little roads with these old houses, 
these old buildings, taverns, all kinds of cool little stores. I love these. This is the this is the part of an old place that I really like when they have all this old historic stuff yeah. still intact and they and they value it, you know. They yeah. don't they don't do anything else with it. They won't they won't let you reconfigure anything, redo anything without like, you know, following a guideline really you know yeah. you kind of have to put it into i guess the city to whatever renovations you want to make and they have to be done to a standard so that's very cool another museum right across the street from a really really cool house yeah, you can see how they did with the, with the concrete they just took it put yeah it in that piece and just, come here. they did a really good job it's really it's really like a cute looking house like you can tell they just went in the bucket for the concrete and just went yeah. It's an old stucco job, yeah, but very cool. I like, I like how the little doors right here, you know, they come right out onto the street. Very cool. Yeah. Really like that. And this old wood house. Look at this. Oh, yeah, that's really nice. I would love to have something like yeah. this. That would be very cool. It is All cool. the shutters and everything. Even just that old light there. Yeah. Very cool. I love the architecture around here. It's like a lot of like cool details, you know. Old Florida. Yeah. Look at that door just leading to the backyard. Yeah. I like the broken glasses. Like I that. do like the walled off backyards like there. Yeah, look at really, the balcony really nice. there. Look at it from the side. Too. Look at all the details up there. Look at that. Yeah. Very cool. Really well done and very well taken care of. Really like that. Look at that dog. <laughs> He's just like leaning out the window. Yeah. I like the doors. Yeah. I like how they have all these trees inside of here. It yeah. Looks really cool. It's a cool ass garden, everything. Very Girl. cool. Come on. These old horse posts are cool too. That's very reminiscent of New Orleans. Oh, they have them over here too. That's cool. Yeah. There's a little mosaic in the back. Uh, oh, wow. Actually, I want to take a picture of that. It's cool. It's a little entranceway. It's very cool. Um, like, Harry's, they found the, we found the watermark for Harry's on the, uh, at the top of the steps. So we stopped in a local distillery, which is very, very cool. It has all these taps set up along the wall and you scan your credit card they give you a card and every ounce is about 32 or 38 cents per ounce depending upon what the alcohol content is inside of the beer but we just got these beers it's a very very cool distillery i'm going to take you inside the reason why i didn't originally take you inside was i didn't realize it was that cool inside of there so when i go back inside for another refill we'll go check out those taps and see how you pour but very cool very nice outside little area right here to hang out in. Really nice night. St. Augustine is very cool. Right, Wiggy, what do you think? Right? She just wants to keep moving. This is a little alleyway that we're sitting in right now. Right? She's nuts. So real quick guys, I almost forgot to show you. These are all the taps, right? These are all the different beers that they have all down here and you put your card right there and just pour and it charges you per ounce not a girl we just arrived to the fountain of youth is that a peacock is that a peacock <laughs> kona's first time seeing peacocks I think, right? I guess so. Yeah, I don't think we've I don't seen think she has. Before. She's seen cranes. Oh yeah, she doesn't mind those though. This is cool. Wiggy, are you gonna? Yeah, I didn't know they had it covered up like this. What? Yeah, no, me neither. Right? Yeah, she looks like a like, like a little uh, deer. <laughs> Good girl. You gonna get a drink? I'm gonna. Yep. I just want to get a picture. 
try this out. Hopefully it makes me younger. Fountain of youth, water. Where's your work on? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she tried it. It's pretty good. <laughs> you can go cast it first. <laughs> it's literally the best water I've ever had in Florida. Non sulfury water. It's really cool. Very nice. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's trying to drink out of it. <laughs> She loves chasing squirrels. It's like her favorite. Squirrels and bunnies. Bunnies she goes nuts about. The squirrels too. She likes she like jumps like them. She had a big day yesterday. She's all energized. Yeah, she passed, she passed out when we down. got back to the room. Knocked out. Do we want to get something for ourselves? I was gonna get this we, for We were gonna get something for Salty Explorer. Oh yeah, yeah. So we should probably get that. I think that's the best thing that you can get from St. Augustine, a little fountain of youth water. Cool. Yeah. So this is for Salty Explorer for getting our trivia question right the other night about where we were going to go on this trip. So you get some fountain of youth water. Congrats. We do two blue ones. Tell them. We're changing it up because this is like ones that you could get your name or whatever. But we're going to do these guys because look at the picture on them. But some of these are heavy. I guess there's like different ratios, like two to one, four to one. This one's harder. Yeah. He's going for the hardest one right now. Ooh, he, oh wow. <laughs> Look at my boo. Lower it slowly. There you go. All right, now he's showing off. He's like a knot. So, I Trying could do it with one hand. Showing off. <laughs> and then this one should nice be way easier. Too. We're in a hot wig. You're in the tiki hut? Is that fun? Is that fun? She's getting many, many compliments today. Yep. She has been since we got here. Yep. What are you looking at? This is cool. Mm-hmm. I'd have one of these in like my backyard. Yeah, I love one of these in the backyard. It's wild because you they just like take the um well, I don't even know what do you Palm like, Yeah, and then they just tie them. It's cool. We had an enjoyable day yesterday at St. Augustine. We're still yep. in St. Augustine. And we're having an enjoyable morning here right now. We're gonna split in a minute. And we're gonna go to another abandoned location. Yeah. That you guys will see, I don't know, maybe one or two days after you view this video. Yeah. Depending upon if you watch this video when it first released. So, this is where we're gonna say peace. Peace. And we'll see you at that spot.